What's up, my friends? It's C3. Welcome back to another episode of Your Song Needs Whatever. And today we're talking about what your song needs is percussion. What is percussion? Let's look it up. Musical instruments played by striking with the hand or with a handheld or pedal-operated stick or beater by shaking, including drums, cymbals, xylophones, gongs, bells, and rattles. When you think of percussion, maybe a lot of you just think of drums. No, your song doesn't always need drums. Sometimes your song needs a shaker, a tambourine. What, you don't have a shaker or a tambourine? Do you have a rattle? Like, do you have a baby rattle? Maybe you got one of these. All right. Let's see what we got. Uh, something hearty. Crushed red pepper. Oregano. Let's try some grill mates. Oh, that's the winner. Yes, and here's why. I, and this is kind of a theme I'm noticing of some of these videos that I'm making of things that your song needs. You need movement. Your song needs to feel like it's progressing in different parts of the song. So I've got the song that I've been working on that the first uh, verse and chorus is very, very mellow. It's just piano. And then the chorus has a little bit of something in there. But the song is kind of building up to something and when the verse hits, I have the drums come in, which is percussion. But specifically when I'm saying percussion, I'm really leaning towards like the shaker side of things. Something to just add a bit of movement and not everyone has a, a drum set. And not every song needs drums. There are a lot more options as far as percussion is concerned. Think of like your favorite movie. Um, a lot of like epic movies have a score. They have a soundtrack. Think of any uh, movie made by like, Christopher Nolan who uses Hans Zimmer a lot in his movies. Hans Zimmer doesn't have like an actual drum set with a drum beat going on. He has percussion. He'll have just things that add to the, the movement and the beat, but not necessarily being a drum set. So um, this song, like I said, the verse comes in and I do have drums, but uh, let's hear it without any, what I've added is tambourine, um, but I'm also going to get rid of it and then record it with this so you can just hear that it actually works. Here's the uh, the piece here, heading into the verse. That's fine. Now check it out with some tambourine. So you feel that movement going on. It just like, uh, it really helps take it from the mellow sound that you had in the first verse and chorus with just a piano with not much else going on. And then boom, that verse hits and that tambourine helps add um, a subconscious feeling of, hey, this song is, it makes you want to tap your foot kind of a thing. So let's pretend like I don't have a tambourine. Boom, muted. What do you do? We grab our grill mates or whatever else you got in the spice cabinet. Okay. Now let's do a little bit of mixing. Let's let's make it so you can actually hear the tambour or the <laughs> the grill mates. So I'll show you a couple things that you're going to want to do with a lot of these kind of shaking percussive instruments like a tambourine or a shaker there's things that i tend to do every time when i'm mixing it they have more low end than you really want uh let's listen it's kind of abrasive kind of harsh and so i always grab uh an eq and i don't really boost any eq again an eq is just a tool that lets me get rid of certain frequencies that I don't want or add certain frequencies that I think can help that part stand out a little bit better. In this case, what I want to do is really get rid of a lot, a lot. Um, we're going to get rid of all low end, low mids, and a lot of the mid range um, and just keep some of the high stuff. In fact, I might even take off some of the really high stuff 
Um, let's listen to what it sounds like. So you want to take off just enough low end to where you don't notice anything's happening until you start hearing, okay, I'm really starting to thin this thing out too much. When you start noticing that, then just pull it back a little bit. I do want to pan it left. Mild compression, I just want to uh, tame some of these peaks here. And I want to add some reverb. And turn it down. A lot of what ultimately makes a song good is the subconscious things happening. Most people that listen to your music, they're just listening to the vocals, which is the song I still have. I'm, I'm starting to record some, but it's not on here yet. A lot of people are just listening to the vocals, but if the background instrument, instrumentation was not interesting and it didn't have some of these types of little extra things going on, people would think the song isn't very good and they may not know why. In general, this is something that I would say would be a good go-to if you want to liven something up a bit. And that's it. Bye.